going on champions welcome back to another video i'm digger off the amateur prospector and today we're doing another gold pay dirt review from sofala gold prospecting this is the even go eyes well throw their facebook link in the video description um go on to try and contact them about some pay dirt they don't usually do um they don't have a website and stuff they usually do tours and you can camp out there and do detecting and all kind of stuff so check out what they can do at sofala which is in the sort of northern New South Wales part of Australia. Um, Phil and Judith out there, they um, go and do all the hard yards for us, so they go get buckets and run them through and they collect the concentrates and we get to have a little play around at home with a little bit of cephala. So I've got the two one kilo bags here, the one kilo bag goes for $40 and the 500 gram bag goes for 20 so there's no guaranteed amount there's no like no expectation so it's just to check out what is available in the ground at Zafala. and i'm excited because travel restrictions at the moment stuff i won't be able to get out there so doing a little bit of Zafala at home is going to be interesting to me anyway so all right let's take you back to the pan station we'll see what this looks like in a pan <laughs> we're back at the pan station and now let's See what we got from so far, gold prospecting. Start off with, get it on the scales. So, just start with the big bag first. 1024 grams, so that's over a kilo. And the little one. 512 so that's over half kilo so um ziplock bags and then bagged again so double bagged no leaks and then packed in the paper bag when it was sent in the mail so well packaged but still let's see well we'll just work with the one kilo bag for now and see where we go from there Material to go through with the one kilo bag, which is good. Keep me busy for the day. Okay, that's what we're working with. Seems to be like a little bit damp, so it's sticking together. That's okay. I mean, there's bigger rocks and little rocks. Oh. I think I just found a chunk of gold. Holy crap! I was not expecting that at all. Oh, all right, now I'm excited. That's awesome. Let's see if it's got any magnetic stuff in it. Sort of squish it around a bit it's a bit damp so might not stick that well but doesn't seem to be much magnetic stuff so that's another interesting thing all right let's get the washing rocks so what I might do is just have a go at even though it's a little bit damp I'll just give it a go at classifying and see if it makes a big difference in the amount that we're working with. I'm doing this dryer, probably better off to do it all as a wet classify. but seems to be working so I'll just classify the rest of this 
and skip to the next bit. There we have our two classified amounts. We've got a plus kitchen strainer that might still have stuff stuck to it. Not really wet, but it's just a little bit damp. And then we've got the minus kitchen strainer. So plenty of material to go through. And now it's time to wash some rocks. So I think I'll start with the plus kitchen strainer, but before I start panning, I'm going to add something to that, break the surface tension. See how there's bits of fluff stuck to the surface of the water? As soon as you add something, they all move apart. And that's what you need so gold doesn't float. There's tiny little bits of gold that are aquaphobic, so they push water away. And if they're small enough, the, they can push water away to make themselves float. So just to make sure they all sink to the bottom, we'll chuck in some of the rinse aid. And away we go. Alright, so I'll start with the plus kitchen strainer because I have no expectations for the dirt. Let's just say that. But to pick out that one bit I did already, I mean, that's kind of exciting. So let's just see anyway. Very muddy. Very dusty. Well, not, but still. Give it a good rinse around. That just looks cool. Yep, got it. So I'll go through this material again anyway, and I'm going to collect all those little well, gems, all those little shell, oh, shells, bringing quartz crystals that are in there. Oh, cool. Yeah, all right. Well, that's plus kitchen strainer. Let's move on now to the minus kitchen strainer. All right, so just do a little bit at a time, and I'll show you the results. Oh. out of the first little bit of the kitchen strainer. <sighs> That's pretty good so far. <laughs> there it is again. Out of every little fucking scoop. <laughs> Holy crap. That is awesome. chunky little bit there too holy crap dude that is phenomenal I'm not even finished <laughs> all right last bit You're kidding. That's ridiculous. <laughs> and that is the pay dirt done. One kilo worth. So now, let's empty the snuffer bottle, but get them clean water, eh? Alright. Muddy the water a little bit. Let's see what you get for $40 
from Safala Gold Prospecting out there past Bathurst. Always wanted to go there, but just travel restrictions, and I'm I'm really no good at traveling anyway, even without the restrictions. <laughs> but for forty dollars for a one kilo bag, kept me entertained for a few hours. It's interesting to see other parts of Australia as well. Let's see what their dirt looks like. <laughs> So there's our gold. Oop. Just there's our gold. <laughs> With that, you're kidding. All right, I'll clean this up. I'll dry it out and we'll get a better look at it with a better camera and then we'll get a weight on it and see what we've got here so but freak that's just awesome that's awesome Now it's time to get this on the scales. So let's start off with picker. Zero point one seven seven. Hmm. Zero point two five one. Holy crap! All right, now let's add all together. I think I just splashed the spec. <laughs> Being a clown. All right. Zero point four two five. That's awesome. So there we have it. So file a gold prospect in the one kilo bag, forty dollars worth like that sharp edgy piece the picker nice little chunky pieces all the material was light like there was not really any heavies in there and making it too difficult to pan like i did make the water really muddy but that's okay that's all part of it it's all like some different kind of dirt that i don't see here in my part of australia anyway uh we still have another kilo bag to go through we've got the two half kilo bags to go through so that'll be later reviews anyway but this is just to start off with this is I'm, I'm impressed with no expectations no guaranteed amount like over 33 dollars worth of gold that's all right to me so support a little business throw some support their way jump on their facebook page hit up judith and phil and try and get some of this pay that yourself because the results are surprising they're awesome all right so i'll leave it with you guys and hopefully i'll see you guys out there <laughs>